Most people think stroke is something that only happens to older people, people with high blood pressure or cholesterol. But what if I told you a young man in his 30s had a stroke just after a forceful sneeze or that another collapsed during a stressful week of sleepless nights? No obvious warning signs. I'm a stroke doctor and today I'll show you five real shocking causes of stroke you've likely never heard of. Some of these might seem harmless, but they could change or end your life in seconds. Strokes don't only strike the elderly. In fact, nearly one in four strokes happen in people under the age of 65, and many of them didn't smoke, didn't have high blood pressure, and lived what they thought were normal lives. So let's begin with something that feels totally innocent, but isn't. Let me tell you about Hannah. She's 34, healthy, fit, and had never been in hospital. One weekend, she decided to redecorate her flat. She stretched her arms above her head, painting the ceiling all afternoon. That night, she noticed a dull ache in her neck. The next morning, she couldn't move her right arm, and her speech was slurred. It sounds unbelievable. But this is a classic carotid artery dissection, one of the leading causes of stroke in young adults. Here's what happens. The artery wall in your neck tears usually from a sudden or awkward movement. Blood enters that tear and forms a clot. If that clot travels to the brain, it blocks blood flow, causing a stroke. This can happen from sneezing forcefully, coughing fits, overhead arm movements like painting the ceiling, yoga poses, chiropractic neck manipulation, or even carrying heavy bags on one shoulder. And it doesn't always hurt. The only warning may be vague neck pain or a headache until it's too late. Hannah recovered, but only because she got to hospital fast. Many don't. Don't click away just yet. The next cause affects millions of young women, and it's rarely talked about. Rachel was 29. She got migraines with flashing lights every few months. Annoying, but manageable. She was on the combined oral contraceptive pill and didn't think twice about it. On a long train journey during a heat wave, she collapsed with a seizure. In the emergency department, she was diagnosed with a type of stroke called cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, or CVST. CVST is different. It involves a clot not in the arteries, but in the veins that drain blood from the brain. And it's strongly associated with estrogen-based contraception, especially in women who also experience migraines with aura. If you're on the pill, and you get migraines with visual symptoms like zigzags or flashing lights, your stroke risk goes up. Add in dehydration, illness, or a long journey, and the risk rises further. This is why some women are advised to switch to progesterone-only pills or non-hormonal options. CVST can present with severe headaches, seizures, or sudden collapse, and it can be missed if you don't know to look for it. If that sounds shocking, the next one could be silently hiding inside your heart right now. Josh was 37. He'd just returned from a work trip abroad, nine hours on a plane, barely any water and lots of coffee. Two days later, he collapsed in the shower. CT scan showed a large stroke. But why? He didn't smoke. Normal blood pressure. No cholesterol issues. Fit and active. After weeks of investigations, doctors found a small, undetected hole in his heart a patent foramen oval, or PFO. One in four people watching this video will have a PFO. In most, it's harmless. But in rare cases, it allows a clot to sneak past the lungs and reach the brain. Usually, your lungs act as a filter. Any small clots from your legs or veins are trapped and broken down before they cause damage. But if you have a PFO, a clot can bypass this filter and head straight for the brain. This is how young, healthy people, like Josh, can have a cryptogenic stroke, meaning no clear cause at first glance. Bubble contrast echocardiography can detect a PFO, and in some cases, closure is considered to reduce future risk. Don't go anywhere. The next cause might be sitting right in front of you at your desk. Mira was a junior doctor. She worked night shifts, often for 12 or more hours without rest. For months, she slept no more than four to five hours a night. She blamed the constant tiredness and brain fog on stress, until one morning she struggled to lift her coffee mug. Her arm just wouldn't move. 
Sleep deprivation isn't just tiring, it's dangerous. And in Mira's case, it triggered a stroke. Chronic lack of sleep increases blood pressure, stress hormones, inflammation, and makes your blood more likely to clot. And poor quality sleep, like in obstructive sleep apnea, is just as bad. If you snore loudly, wake up feeling unrefreshed, or doze off during the day, you may be at higher risk than you realize. In fact, people with untreated sleep apnea have up to a threefold higher risk of stroke. Getting enough deep, restorative sleep is one of the most overlooked and powerful forms of stroke prevention. The final cause is one I witnessed multiple times during the pandemic, and it left young people disabled. During the height of COVID-19, I saw something that will stay with me forever. A 36-year-old man, no health issues, came in with weakness on one side, no cough, no fever, just a stroke. His COVID test was positive. COVID and other infections can send the immune system into overdrive, triggering inflammation and a hypercoagulable state. That means your blood becomes stickier, more likely to form clots. And when that happens, strokes can strike suddenly, even in young people with no risk factors. But it's not just COVID. Any severe infection, like pneumonia, sepsis, or even dengue, can tip your body into a pro-thrombotic state. If you're dehydrated, immobile, or already prone to clotting, the risk is magnified. This is why it's so important to take infections seriously and to allow your body proper rest and recovery. Before we wrap up, I want to share one final, rarely discussed trigger that could strike at the most private of moments. Alan was 62. He had high blood pressure, a bit of constipation, and a strong, I'll deal with it later, attitude. One morning, straining on the toilet, he felt a sudden explosion in his head. He had suffered a hemorrhagic stroke. Straining increases pressure inside the chest and skull, called the Valsalva maneuver. And in those with fragile blood vessels, this can rupture a vessel in the brain. It's rare, but very real, especially in people with undiagnosed aneurysms, arteriovenous malformations, or long-standing hypertension. If you find yourself regularly straining to go, don't ignore it. Simple lifestyle changes like fibre, hydration, and treating blood pressure can genuinely be life-saving. Stroke doesn't always come from smoking or blood pressure. Sometimes it's a tear in your neck after yoga, or a pill combined with a migraine or a sleep-deprived week that tips your body into chaos. The point is this, stroke can strike quietly in ways you never expect and in people you wouldn't expect. So what can you do? Know the signs. Remember, fast, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call emergency services, look after your sleep, hydration, and vascular health. And don't ignore odd symptoms, especially if you're young. Because yes, young people have strokes too. Thank you for watching, and if you found this useful, please subscribe and share it with someone. Because stroke prevention doesn't just save lives, it saves futures.